Hello friends, this video is on muscles of upper limb and their nerve supply. All the muscles of the upper limb are supplied by branches of brachial plexus except trapezius which is supplied by spinal root of accessory nerve. Let us begin with the muscles of pectoral region. There are four muscles and these are the pectoralis major, pectoralis minor, subclavius, and serratus anterior. Let us look at their nerve supply. Both pectoralis major as well as minor are supplied by medial and lateral pectoral nerves which arise from the medial and lateral cords of brachial plexus respectively. Then the third muscle that is subclavius this is supplied by nerve to subclavius so it is easy to remember here also and this arises from upper trunk of brachial plexus. Serratus anterior is supplied by long thoracic nerve and this arises directly from the roots of brachial plexus and you are often asked its root value which is C5, C6, C7. Let us now see which nerves supply the superficial muscles of back and the muscles of the scapular region. So the nerves that supply here they are nerves from posterior cord of brachial plexus. So remember we are talking about the scapular region of the back at the posterior aspect of the trunk. So nerves from posterior cord of brachial plexus. There are five branches from posterior cord of brachial plexus. Four of them will be supplying here. And these are upper subscapular, lower subscapular, thoracodorsal and axillary. This is very simple to remember. Subscapular word is coming and then thoracodorsal behind the thoracic region, posterior aspect of the thoracic region and the axillary nerve. Then we have two more nerves which will be supplying here. Again look at this. The scapular word is coming. One is dorsal scapular nerve, another is suprascapular nerve. Dorsal scapular nerve is direct branch from the root of the brachial plexus that is C5, suprascapular is a branch of upper trunk of brachial plexus. One more nerve supplies here and that is the spinal root of accessory nerve. Let us look at the two superficial muscles of the back associated with the upper limb. These are the first is trapezius in the upper part you can see here and the second is the latissimus dorsi. So which nerves will be supplying them? Trapezius I have already told you. The only muscle not supplied by branch of brachial plexus. It is supplied by spinal root of accessory nerve. And the second muscle latissimus dorsi is supplied by thoracodorsal nerve or you can call it nerve to latissimus dorsi. Let us now look at the muscles of the scapular region. So first we are going to consider the muscles, three muscles which are attached on the dorsal surface of the medial border of the scapula and these muscles are levator scapulae, then we have rhomboidus minor and the rhomboidus major. All the three muscles are supplied by dorsal scapular nerve. So it will be running here deep to these muscles that is dorsal scapular nerve. Let us consider now the muscles which form rotator cuff or musculotendinous cuff around the shoulder joint. So there are in total four muscles which form rotator cuff or musculotendinous cuff and these are ventrally we have on the ventral aspect we have of the scapula we have subscapularis and on the dorsal aspect of the scapula we have supraspinatus, infraspinatus and teres minor. The nerves that supply these muscles, they are subscapularis. is supplied by upper and lower subscapular nerves. So it is easy to remember. Supraspinatus and infraspinatus both are supplied by suprascapular nerve. Right? So it will be coming from here and then supplying the infraspinatus also. Teres minor is supplied by axillary nerve. Right? So the other big muscle supplied by axillary nerve is the deltoid muscle. Teres minor is also supplied by this. There is one more muscle of scapular region and that is teres major. So this teres major is supplied by lower subscapular nerve. Then muscle of the shoulder region, there is a big huge muscle we can see here with anterior, middle and posterior fibers. This muscle is the deltoid muscle and it is supplied by axillary nerve. 
Now coming to muscles of the arm. So we have two compartments in the arm, flexor or anterior compartment and extensor or posterior compartment. Muscles of anterior flexor compartment, there are three muscles and these are the biceps brachii with its long and short head and then we have coracobrachialis which we can see here and here and the third is the brachialis which can be seen in the lower part of the arm deep to the biceps brachii. All the three muscles are supplied by musculocutaneous nerve which can be seen here. So the nerve of the anterior or flexor compartment of arm is musculocutaneous nerve branch from lateral cord of brachial plexus by radial nerve. Now, muscles of anterior or flexor compartment of forearm. Let us look at these. In total, we have eight muscles here. So, let us see here. In total, we have eight muscles. Muscles supplied by median nerve are six and a half and muscles supplied by ulna nerve are one and a half. So, the main nerve of the flexor or anterior compartment of forearm is the median nerve, right? So, six and a half muscles are supplied by that. Only one and a half muscles are supplied by ulna nerve. Let us look at these eight muscles here and these are first is pronator teres, second is flexor carpi radialis, third is palmaris longus, fourth is flexor digitorum superficialis. We will not consider the fifth muscle here because that is supplied by alnana. First let us consider the muscle supplied by median nerve and then we have here we can see this muscle this is the lateral half of flexor digitorum profundus and one more muscle that is here that is flexor pollicis longus and the last muscle which is supplied by the median nerve is the pronator quadratus. So one, two, three, four, five, six and half. These six and a half muscles they are supplied by the median nerve. Only one and a half muscles are supplied by ulna nerve and these are Flexor carpi ulnaris. It is very easy to understand because the ulnaris word is there. So ulnar nerve. And second is the medial half of the flexor digitorum profundus. Again remember medial half ulnar side. Right. So flexor digitorum profundus only the medial half that will be supplied by ulnar nerve. Muscles of posterior or extensor compartment of forearm, there are in total 12 muscles and all of them are supplied by radial nerve. So posterior, posterior word when it comes, then radial nerve should come into your mind, which is a branch of posterior cord of brachial plexus. Let us look at the names of these muscles. Extensor carpi radialis longus, we can see here. Then extensor carpi radialis brevis. Then abductor pollicis longus. Extensor pollicis brevis, extensor pollicis longus, extensor indices, and then we have extensor digitorum, extensor digiti minimi, and extensor carpi ulnaris. You, so you can see here, out of all these muscles, all except one, they begin with the word extensor. So whenever extensor word comes in the muscles of the forearm, they have to be supplied by radial nerve. The only muscle without that extensor word is the abductor pollicis longus. Keep in mind, it is the longus, not the brevis. So abductor pollicis longus is also supplied by radial nerve. There are three more muscles besides these because these are in total nine muscles. So three more. One is brachioradialis. Again, look at this word, radial word, right? So brachio radialis then we have supinator this is pierced by the radial nerve so supinator muscle that is also supplied by this and another muscle is the enconius so these uh, three more muscles they are also supplied by radial nerve in total it supplies 12 muscles in the extensor compartment of the forearm 
the muscles of hand total we have 20 muscles uh, we, in the forearm also we had 20 muscles 8 were in the flexor compartment of the forearm and 12 were in the extensor compartment of the forearm now in hand we have total muscles 20 muscles that are supplied by median nerve are 5 and muscles supplied by ulnar nerve are 15 so the main nerve of the hand is the ulnar nerve let us look at the muscles supplied by the median nerve first with five muscles so muscles of thinner eminence first let us see here so here we can see this is flexor pollicis brevis abductor pollicis brevis remember abductor pollicis brevis is by median nerve whereas abductor pollicis longus is by radial nerve then opponence pollicis and the fourth muscle that is adductor pollicis you have to remember this is not supplied by median nerve this is the most important thing you have to remember adductor pollicis is not supplied by median nerve it is supplied by ulnar nerve so that you have to remember so these three muscles of thinar eminence plus the first and the second umbilical so we have total five muscles supplied by median nerve in the hand now muscles supplied by ulnar nerve in the hand these are the hypothenar muscles four muscles are there and these are palmaris brevis opponens digiti minimi flexor digiti minimi and abductor digiti minimi plus third and fourth umbilicals all palmar introsiae all dorsal introsiae and plus adductor pollicis this also has to be remembered so in total 15 muscles will be supplied by ulnar nerve that's all so that's all for this video thanks for watching and if you have not subscribed please subscribe my channel so that i can put more such videos and if you want uh, the questions and answers in anatomy all types of that then visit the website that is anatomyqa.com thanks once again